Hello my friends, my name is LaserJet, welcome back to another root building tutorial, I think this is part 4 now, this is the 4th video I'm making of how to build your own root, and so far I think it's coming along nicely. Last time we put some trees down and some brambles and a bit of detail on the ground, so you got a bit of grass, so today we actually be working on this area, the station, I'm going to be working on the car park this time for this video. Now, as I said, I've been trying to make these videos as simple as I can, but uh, the cars and the car parks are just a little bit more trickier than, um, than, than you thought, well, than you think. think. So today, we're going to click on the house icon, and we're going to see what we can find, because I'm still just learning how to do this myself. What we need is some blocks. So what we need is you need to go into this little thing where it says that. It's a, it's a long word. I can't read that. Oh, you're dyslexic, Oliver. Yeah, you're making a tutorial video. <laughs> anyway, we need some blocks. So let's see what we've got. This one's a bit too long. Uh, we need quite a big one. That's that's decent size. I think... Um, actually, I th no, actually, I think we should have the long one. Okay, well, let's have this big, long one. So we'll hold down control and then click and drag so it's perfectly lined up. So we'll pop that, I think, th there. I think that will do nicely. And then we'll... Gently lower it down so it's level. I'm gonna hold down shift because it sort of slows it down Because if I don't hold down shift, it's too fast and if I press down shift, it's nice and slow So you get that just perfect Like so. Oh, yeah, see that is that's looking much better already So what we'll do is we'll make a copy of that but this time we need to make it into a, like a little slope so um, I'm gonna click on the uh, Circly bit that's the green circle and hold down shift and just drag and sort of move it up and then just move it down so it kind of looks like a bit of like a ramp so you, you could drive a car up here if anything as I said, you guys can play around with this for ages but you know I just want to make this as simple as I can and and as quick as I can I mean it's not gonna look amazing but uh, you, actually no that doesn't look too bad I mean actually no, that, that, that looks really nice in my opinion I don't know what you guys think but that, that looks very really smart. I mean, I'm, I'm pleased with that. So to make the car park, what we need to do is we need to get rid of the grass first. So let's head over to the paintbrush and go to where it says uh, concrete. And then we want to go to tarmac. There we go. And we'll just get rid of all this long grass because we don't want grass in a car park, Mr. Oliver. No, we don't. We want to make this as nice and smart as possible. But as I said, you know, I'm not going to spend too long just making a simple car park because, you know, you guys want to see me do other stuff. So as I said, you guys can play around with the car park. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just showing you like what, like how I do it and how to do it. Okay, so we've got rid of some of the grass. I think that will do nicely. So let's head over to the house again. And then we this time to have cars and a car park, what you want to do is you want to head over to the person who has a person's face, weirdly. It says people, animals, and vehicles. So you click on that, and it just comes up with loads of different cars. You've got cars that's parked. Uh, what else have we got? We've got uh, animals, you've got birds, you've got dogs, you've got a cow, sheep, a digger. That's pretty cool. So you want to scroll down to where it says car park, and it goes to two by one. Uh, so this is actually quite a small car park. But if we go to two by two, it's get it's a bit bigger. But if we go to four by four, it's a big car park. But we don't we don't want a big massive car park. So I think we'll go for the two by two. I think that'll do us very nicely. So we'll pop one there, and I think we'll have a smaller one. I think, I think we'll have the two by two. I think maybe there will do nicely, very nice. But it's a bit too high, so what we want to do is click on that and then hold down control, click on the other one, press shift, and then just gently drag it down so it's more level. But as I said, you guys can play around with this as much as you want, but I'm just showing you how to do it simply and easily and quickly as possible. But, you know, but at the same time, I don't really want to rush it. Because I'm actually loving this route right now. I mean, I think this is, like, sh the nicest route that I'm building, like, in a long time. Now we need roads, Mr. Oliver. We need do need a road. So we're going to go to track, and then find the one that has road. And what kind of road do we want? We want, the two we want a two-lane road, and the one that has concrete. We want a concrete road. So I think, oh, that, that will that's, that'll do nicely. Oh, yeah, that, that's a nice road. I, li I like that one. And we'll do the same again, but this time they'll be leaving the station up here now. So if we just have a simple road, because roads are never straight. When have you ever been on a road that's actually straight? Roads are never straight. But where we're going, we don't need roads, we need track. Where we're going, we don't need roads. 
And I'll just do a little bit of a loop. I mean, it's, a, it's always important to have a loop road as well, just in case if other cars wanted to maybe do a, like a, a ring road or something, just in case they wanted to do a U-turn. So I have another loop going around like so. I'm not very good at roads. If I have to be honest, I am not good at building roads because this, this actually looks pretty rough, doesn't it, Mr. Oliver? Oh no, what a surprise. Mr. Oliver doesn't know how to do roads. There we go. So now we have two ring roads. I mean, it, it does look like it looks terrible, but better than I thought it would be. I mean, as I said, I'm not very good at roads, but, you know, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it's, it's starting to look like a real station now. You've got a car park. I think we should have a bit more cars. That's what we need. So if we go back to the house and then click on the person, uh, scroll up and see if we can find parked cars. So we can have cars maybe there or one, some there or one, we'll have it sideways perhaps. Parked car there. Just have cars everywhere. As I said, you know, you can guys play around and make up your own little car park. But you know, it's, 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 it's not bad. But you know, it it could be better. I mean, I could add a lot more detail to this, so don't worry. Tell you what, let's copy these trees and let's put them over here because they're so. I want to sort of like hide these like two D trees because they're 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 rubbish. So we want the three D trees and we just want to like sort of have them close to the row so you don't have to keep looking at these horrible 2d trees because they're just they just haven't got much good detail into them have they no so we're just going to get the 3d trees and just sort of like not, not not make it too obvious but we'll just have like a few here and there so so it doesn't make make it look like it's just one big picture we'll just make it look like it's a real living place so we'll have a few bushes as well just just to hide the flat grass like so I'm actually really enjoying this. Like, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually really good at this. Why, am I, why don't I do more tutorials like this? Because weirdly, I'm actually really good at it. So let's quickly save it before the game crashes. Because you know, Train Simulator uh, does have a habit of uh, crashing. And now, what we need to do is we need to add some houses and buildings. And to do that, we want to go on the house thingy again, uh, object tools, and we want to click on the house one. And this is where the houses should be. Uh, oh, that's a, that's like a more of a, like a block of flats, isn't it? Um, oh, definitely not. No, we don't want that. We need um, something something casual. That's a castle. That's a barn. That's a cottage. I, I, I like the cottage. Um, maybe a cottage or maybe a block of flats. No, no. That's way too big. Aha! Here we go. I found something. This is, this is more like it. This is what we're looking for. So we probably might need like a smaller one though because I don't know how we're going to do these like these the houses on the roads, but you know, I'll figure something out. Um, ah, oh my god, oh my god, there we go. I just, I, I think I figured it out. So we'll have these, and we'll just copy and paste, and we'll just follow it along the road so it doesn't look too bad. Oh wow, that, that looks nice, doesn't it? Have a little bit of houses. I've said this before, like I said again, you guys can do whatever you want. You don't actually have to follow what I'm doing. You just like, I'm just showing you like what to do with houses and stuff or where they are located. But this is looking very nice. I mean, I, I'm pleased with that. And I think we should have some different houses on the other side. So maybe, um, oh yeah, let's have these ones. These ones look nice. We'll have these houses on the other side. So we'll just move them closer together. But I don't want to have them on the road. So let's just copy them and then just place it down and then click and drag to move it. So click, drag to sort of place it wherever you want. Sort of like rotate, rotate it. That's the word I'm looking for. Click and drag to rotate and then let go. Click and drag to rotate, then let go. Fantastic. And then we'll just hold on control, click. Oh, no, I'm too far away. Hold on control, click, 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 click. And then press control C, then control V. And then just copies what I've just wanted. Fantastic. So just click and drag, place. Click and drag and place. That looks. F oh, I am. I'm pro at this. Do not forget train driving? Maybe I should do house building. Maybe I should do um. What's that British show? Um, that build the houses. Um, grand design. Maybe I should take up grand design. You never know. Right now we need some fences, sort of to sort of like seal off the station to the public, just in case if if the station was on a closed day. So what we want is some uh, fences. So is this the kind of right wood? No, that is the wrong kind of wood. Let's scroll around and see if we can find the right type of garden fence, which is the one we're looking for. Scroll up, scroll down. I am not. can't seem to find it. Oh, hold on. Is this it? Um, aha! This is, what I'm, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So what we'll do is we'll just put some fencing sort of like along here to make it look like like there's still a garden but it will stop like people from trying to like break into the station and stuff just to just to like seal it off so we'll just click and drag the 
arrow and then place the fence down. Oh yeah, that that looks much better. That's the, this. It's getting there, isn't it? Do the same to the other side. And I don't I don't think it's straight, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see. And click. Um, that that is not straight, but we can just click on that and just make it a little bit more straight. That's much better. And we'll just do the same over here. Put a fence there. And then we'll just pull it sort of like around the road. I think that's a brilliant idea, Mr. Smith. We'll just pop it there. Like so. Just so we'll just we'll make it just follow the the back alley. This could be like a cool back alleyway or something. And now what we need to do is we need to add some more buildings and stuff. We need more roads. So now we just uh put some roads down because it's a town. I mean no no there's loads of different ways to go when you're in a town. So I'm just gonna put some roads here, put a road there. And then just put a road here, and put a road there. I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make like a full size town. It's just because I've still got a lot of work to do, like over here, and we've still got a lot of more things to show. I've got a lot more things to show you guys because there's, there's a lot more to do uh, on the route building. That is looking incredibly awesome right now. I, mean, I, I am I'm so pleased with this. I mean, I, I'm chuffed to bits. So what? Let's put some let's put some trees over here because it, it does look very plain and boring over here. So what I'm just gonna do is just place some trees down like so. But don't make it less too conspicuous. No, don't make it less conspicuous. I don't know. I can't speak right now. Shut up, Oliver. Eh. Copy the trees and paste them like so. Play around the trees. Tree, 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 tree. Just play around with the trees. Just have have a bit of fun. That's what we like on this channel. Always just having a bit of fun. Then place some trees here. Place some trees there. Place some trees there. I I will neaten this up and and make it look more. Like uh, like a heritage line, but at the moment this is just a rough cut. You know, it's it's not gonna look great, but it will once it's finished. Like, believe me. Then we want some bushes down. Let's put a uh, put a bush there, put a bush there, bush there, bush there, and a bush there. Maybe a bit more, more bushes. Bush, 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 bush. I'm just playing around with the bushes. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Bush, 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 bosh, bush, bush, bosh. I like that. Oh, now that, that it doesn't look too plain anymore, now does it? That looks, oh, that looks, that looks so cool. I'm proud of that. Now I will put a fence up here as well, but you know that's, oh, it's not looking too bad, is it? It's, it's, it, I think it's looking great. That, that is, that is, that is so cool. That is awesome. Right, well, we've got to save this now because this is starting to look like a real town. Look at this. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm pleased with that. I don't know what you guys think, but leave your ideas of what you think, uh, or your comments, sorry. Leave your, what you think of how this is looking so far. Guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial video. I will make another one very soon. The next week, we should be making a tutorial. Uh, someone has, has actually asked me, can I do, make a tutorial of how to do, like, a river or, or a lake or a canal or something? So I thought, hmm, I think next week we should do, like, something like that. I think I've got an idea. Anyway, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Have a good evening, and make sure you uh, turn the notification on as well. Did I already say that? I don't know, but, you know, I'm just letting you guys know now. But thank you so much. Uh, uh, oh, can't speak. But thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, my friends. And remember, it's all about the game. And we'll see you guys next week for another root building tutorial, part five. Hey, hey. I'm liking this. <laughs> How about that for an experience? It's a flying train! Yes! Oh, she made it! Oh, I can't bear this! I might be an expert at these things. Sort of.